position of the babies. This is what you would see. And then during test trial, they saw either this or this. And what we found was babies looked longer, indicating surprise when the ball approached the one that helped it rather than hindered it. Now this effect holds for both 9-month-olds and 12-month-olds, but if the characters don't have faces, the effect goes away. It goes away entirely for the 9-month-olds, in fact, it flips for the 12-month-olds, suggesting that this really is a sort of social understanding we see at work. Um, I'll stop and just say, are people hearing me clearly? Is, this, is the sound working? Sounds great for my end. Good. Excellent. Okay. So, so then this brilliant graduate student, Kylie Hamlin, joined Cameron's lab and said, you know, you're asking a very complicated question. There's a simpler but maybe more interesting question you could ask, which is, what do babies themselves think of the characters? What do they themselves think of the good guy and the bad guy? Do they think of them as good guys and bad guys? So to study this, we moved away from uh, uh, looking method and towards a reaching method so babies can indicate their preferences. And so uh, here's, I'll show you a, a little clip from the study that shows you how we did this. So then, after seeing this, babies of different ages would be offered a choice. And I should tell you, for all of these studies, the color, the shape, the size of the characters is counterbalanced. And what this means is that if we have the red character as the good guy for half the babies, the red character will be the bad guy for the other half. If the good guy is on the right for half the babies, it will be on the left for the other half. And what this means is that if babies have a tendency to prefer a color or, or a shape or, or an orientation, this will wash out and you won't get any effect at all. It's a way of making sure that the effect you get is, um, is due to the fact that you're interested in. Also, when, um, when the babies are offered the alternatives, uh, the person making them the offer doesn't know who is the good guy and bad guy, so it can't bias the baby. And finally, parents close their eyes when the baby makes the choice. This is an example of a choice. And here are our results. And as you can see, for both the 10-month-olds and 6-month-olds, almost everybody chooses the good guy. Now you could wonder, are they being directed towards the good guy? Are they being directed against the bad guy? Or are there effects in both directions? And, and, uh, and so to test this, we compare the other studies where we compare the good guy with the neutral guy. And there we find they prefer the good guy. And the bad guy with the neutral guy, and there we find they prefer the neutral guy, suggesting they have tendencies to go both in both directions.